Alright guys, with uh, I guess J.M. Sexton here, uh, with all the hype of iOS 7, I figure I would load up a video and show you guys a little bit of what Interapp Audio does or is, because I'm not really even sure what all I can do with it yet. So, if my iPad would stay on, here's your pretty new interface, don't look at my password, as I spell it, type it wrong. Alright. Here we go. A couple cool features real quick is this gives you some cool options down there. And uh, one of the cool neat thing, well I don't know if I like this yet, is that on my synths, of course I have a gazillion, you have to swipe through your pages now. You can't just have them all in one block. But anyway, Let's get to the point. Enter app audio. We're going to go with Looptical and Nave for this little test. So let's open up Looptical. Oh. Alright. And the Navester. Alright. So I have an iPad too, and I decided to take the plunge last night at work. And saw people looking around for videos and finding old videos. MG, MG. Uh, so I figured I'd load one up for you. I'm not normally doing videos. But... And my phone keeps going blurry because I can't hold it still. So let's see. Alright, we'll go with that. Actually, let's doing a little ARP here real quick. What am I doing? A total brain fart. Oh, I see what they did. They moved the ARP over here now instead of beside it. That's kind of neat. That works for me. Let's just do random. Alright. Let's close that. Let's go back to... Oh, and this is how you do these now. And to get rid of them, you swipe up. So let's go to Looptical. We're going to create... We're going to add audio. And in the beginning, it'll be your mic in. So it's going to pick up your mic. So we're going to change mic. And I'm still not sure what the difference in Waldorf Nave Generator and Waldorf Nave is. The one right here and the one right here. So, let's try Generator first. So as soon as you click it, it immediately jumps to Walt, the Nave. The Nave. And uh, gives us this fancy little uh, bar down here. Focus. Now. So it has your position, your beats per minute, which is zero. Record, play, and home slash back to the beginning. <laughs> and you can make it disappear like this. And if you click the icon, it'll jump back to Looptical. So let's just try to lay something down right quick. I was having issues. It was like cutting me off. I'd play for a couple seconds and it would stop. So let's see what happens here. Let me let it focus. All right, let's just hit the R for a second here. Ready, go. See, and then stopping. So let's go back here and see if we got anything. It recorded it on a loop. But why is it only a couple... It might be something to do with loop to go, to be honest. So let's, let's add a new one and do the same thing. We'll do the other one now. We'll do Waldorf Nave. Alright, oh, well, let's home it. Now when you click the home back arrow, it doesn't zero out, but when you click record it does. So, let's pick a new thing just for fun. Alright, we'll go with that. 
And let's record. Now the position didn't move, but it played in the background. So let's see if it actually recorded. It did. So I got a loop of that. Now it must be something to do with my settings on how long I have it set up or something. I don't know. But you get the gist of it. Now the other options we have are Alchemy and Magellan right now. So let's just click Alchemy and see if it'll auto launch it. I haven't opened it up previously so see. I had the other ones already open. So we're just going to spinny arrow. And I don't know if it's going to do it. We'll have to maybe jump out and open it ourselves. See what happens here. Uh, all right, so let's get rid of Nave. This is how you do this, ready? Noise effect and everything. All right. Now let's try this. Na oh, not Nave. Alchemy. Now this one doesn't have the option of generator. This one just has. I don't even know what I click there. Great. Oh, see, okay, it auto launched Ma uh, Magellan as a uh, generator, so maybe it has something to do with that. Let's see here. So, alright. Oh, it says elliptical recording, so what? It doesn't, I don't have a bar anywhere. Let's see, I guess this is just um, and that's just internal. I don't I don't see an inter app audio bar anywhere that I can swipe up, down, away. I don't know if this is actually recording. It didn't record it didn't record anything from Alchemy, I'll tell you that. So you must be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused still, so we're going to have to wait till some other apps jump in till we learn about all this. Um, as you can see, uh, let me um, try one other thing. Let's get rid of Alchemy. Let's... All right, so in Magellan, we do have a different interrupt audio bar. We have this one. Oh. Focus. Alright. So this one we can actually play. So the length of it must be something to do with how I have it set up in Looptical. So let's just record something in here real quick. Magellan got a nice update, a bunch of stuff done. It's even got a store now, which apparently I don't believe is working at this time. Yeah, it gives a failed to connect to App Store. So, okay, and we'll hit refresh. And it still does the same thing, so they're going to have to fix that. But it's got a couple new banks up. It's got a new bank, I think. So it's it stopped recording just like before. Uh, and we'll jump back to this and play it. Now this just sounds like a bunch of junk, but the point is it recorded it. So uh, at this time, audio bus is definitely still your best option. Obviously, um, we're just gonna have to wait till some more apps get on board and play with around with it more, till we can all figure out what's going on. I uh, hope this helped you out some. Ah, uh, have a great day.